What's up, Prize 5 fans? I'm Brian Tong, and this is a matchup between two honeycomb tablets that won't break the bank. It's a Prize 5 punch out between the Acer Iconia Tab and the Asus E Pad Transformer. Now, our judges for this fight are senior editor Donald Taco Bell, senior associate editor Eric Shake and Bake Franklin, and myself, Ring a Ling a Ding Tong. We'll take all three judges' blind scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. We're putting in six rounds of work for this fight. Round one is designed. The Acer Iconia tab has a smooth body with a real nice metal finish and edges. But pick it up, this thing is the heaviest tablet on the market, weighing in at 1.69 pounds, and trust me, you'll feel it. Now the ASUS Transformer has a nice weight to it and a classy design. There's more screen and less bezel, and that's always a good thing. Plus, I like its textured booty that I could run my fingers on all day. ASUS takes the first round with a 3.7, and Acer needs to hit the treadmill with a 3.3. Next round is controls and user interface. Both tablets are running honeycomb, so the look and feel is very similar. The Acer Iconia tab brings a physical rotation lock switch, so you don't have to go into the software settings. Plus, including Dolby Mobile to tweak the audio settings is a nice addition. Now, the Transformer has no lock switch, but it has a volume rocker placed on the side, which is perfect for a tablet primarily used in landscape mode. It also has a built-in screenshot function, so you won't need to download any third-party app, and they've changed the navigation icons. Now, I'm not really a fan of the virtual keyboard because including numbers makes it feel more cramped, but it doesn't hurt it here. ASUS takes another round, this time with a 4, and the Acer gets a 3.7. So after averaging two rounds, the Transformer leads by 4 tenths of a point. Next round is Features. These two tablets have 16 gigs of storage, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and you won't find 3G or 4G on either of them. But Acer brings the most connections you can find with HDMI and audio out, a micro SD card slot on top, plus a mini USB and a standard USB port. The Transformer is lacking when it comes to ports. You'll find audio out, a micro SD card slot, the less common mini HDMI, and that's it. But there's a port on the bottom that gives it its best feature, the ability to dock it to a laptop keyboard. It's a great option for an additional $150, and you'll get two USB ports, but we're still comparing these guys as tablets. The Acer Iconia tab takes round three with a four, and the Transformer gets a 3.3. Next round is web browsing and multimedia. Both tablets are using the same browser, support Flash, and have the same multimedia experience, which is a good thing. HD video looks great on both of them, but what sets them apart is their cameras. The Iconia tab has a 2 megapixel front facing camera and a 5 megapixel rear camera with flash that takes richer and more detailed pictures. But it's a little pickier with multimedia formats. Now the Transformer offers a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera and a 5 megapixel camera with no flash on the back. But taking advantage of the keyboard dock feature gives it a real advantage when web browsing. We're calling this round a tie at 3.7 points apiece. So after averaging four rounds with just two left to go, we're locked in a dead heat. Next round is performance. These two tablets are snappy performers when you're navigating through Honeycomb, and it feels like an identical experience when it comes to speed. The Acer Iconia tab was able to pump out 7.8 hours of juice in our test, and the Transformer squeezed 7.3 hours of juice, which is still respectable. Now, neither of them were able to get close to Apple's 10-hour iPad battery life, but you'll be more than happy with these solid performers. We've got another tie in this round, and the judges call it even at four, with just one more round left to go. The final round that decides it all is value. Acer's Iconia tab has specs that go neck and neck with the more expensive Motorola Zoom, but its price point is a whole different story. $450. It's $50 less than an entry-level iPad 2, and it's an excellent price for a honeycomb tablet. But then there's the ASUS Transformer that cuts the fat and brings us a $400 honeycomb tablet experience with a solid form factor. Bottom line, this is a price point that will make consumers think twice. The Transformer brings a big bang for the buck and gets a 4.7, and the Iconia tab gets a 3.7. So let's average out all six rounds, and in a throwdown that was dead even until the final round, the ASUS Transformer takes this battle 3.9 to 3.7 and is your prize fight winner. Both of these tabs are honeycomb experiences that do the platform proud, but it's the ASUS ePad Transformer's price that puts it over the top.
I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. Woo! Go, go!